guys, today I'm going to be doing sort of a collection haul video. Um, I know I've been gone for a really long time due to school and being sick. Um, so there will be a lot that I have to show you, especially with the news of Toys R Us closing. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you this haul in different sections, like different brands. And yeah, so let's just get started. So the first part of this haul is going to be My Little Pony based, as I did get a lot of My Little Pony Toys R Us exclusives since Toys R Us is closed, and like I said before. So, th so the first exclusive we have is the Equestria Girls Minis 4-pack Elements of Friendship uh, with Rarity, Fluttershy, Twilight, and Pinkie Pie. And the girls just have the same clothing as their original release, except they're now glittered, which is a really nice touch. So that's the first exclusive. The second exclusive is going to be one that I really adore, and it's from the movie, My Little Pony the Movie, Friendship Festival, The Princess Parade, with Cadence, Celestia, and Luna. And it's very pretty. They're all glittered out, and they've even got tinsel in their hair. So I really think that this is a nice addition of the princesses. The next Toys R Us exclusive is going to be, again from the movie, um, My Little Pony the Movie Festival Foes, also the Friendship Festival. And it's got Tempest Shadow, Spike, of course, and Twilight. Uh, she's the glittered version, like, from the Princess Parade, except she's included here with Tempest. Uh, so it's nice that we do get a Twilight to complete the glittery princesses. And, yeah, so there's that one. The last Toys R Us exclusive I have is the My Little Pony Friendship of Magic Applejack. Um, with her pony counterpart and Equestria Girl Mini, like I said, like, like with the other ones. She's wearing the same clothing, just glittered, and then she's got a really sparkly pony all over with tinseled hair, and it's really cool. There's also a Rainbow Dash, but I wasn't able to pick that one up. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get it online, even though I said I wasn't an online shopper, because I would really like to have it before they're no longer available. And yeah, so on to the next thing. So the next items are going to be the Equestria Girls dolls, we've got Pinky, Applejack, Twilight, and Rarity here in box. Um, that's soon going to change as I don't have enough room to keep them in their boxes, even though their arc is lovely. Um, and I know I said that they weren't exclusives, but in terms of finding them at, actually in store, that seems to be in Toys R Us is where I can find them on store, but they are available online. So I have these gals in the box, and then I have uh, Rainbow Dash, Sunset Shimmer, and Fluttershy out of the box because I just couldn't wait because I really wanted to get a look at the semi-rebooted Equestria Girls, I guess you could call it. I mean, the storyline continued, but the faces and the doll molds definitely did change. So. There, there are these. So, these next items from My Little Pony are going to be a little smaller, more individually wrapped. Sorry if you hear my cat playing in the background. She's on catnip and just chilling. Uh, but anyway, here is Princess Celestia from the Glitter Celebration, along with Princess Cadence from the same line who's just open because sometimes there are those moments when you get a new toy and you just can't wait to get to get it out of the box and see it for yourself and just really just yeah just really get to explore with it and I don't know if that's just me but uh yeah uh the next item is uh, the Sea Pony Rarity, who also got opened. I have the other Sea Ponies except for Pinkie Pie. It's just they're all sitting on a shelf right now, and they're pretty comfortable, so I don't want to move them from their spots. Um, then the next item is the Water Cuties Applejack, and I know this is a fairly old release, but I saw her at Toys R Us anyway, and I just wanted to pick her up, so there she is. 
So next up are the All About Ponies, or at least that's what I call them. Because like this one says All About Applejack, and this line has scenes and places, just things that are important to the pony and their character on the side of them, which is a really cool idea. So you've got Applejack, we've got Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, who I know won't stand up for me, so I'm just going to lay her down there. And, sorry for that, Twilight, and then some of the background characters like Lyra, Shining Armor, and Bon Bon or Sweetie Drops, and then Shirley. And I decided to pick these up because Target was having a sale along with Toys R Us is going out of business sale, so it was just good timing to pick these up over uh, over a course of a few days uh, when I found them. And yeah, uh, I also managed to get this Princess Luna plushie from Five and Below. I wasn't man, I didn't manage to get all the princesses, but I did get Princess Luna because she is my favorite. So the next items I'm going to be doing are Monster High, Ever After High, and a few other other things. So here is the Monster High dolls, Claudine Wolf and Cleo Denial signature reboot dolls. I got them for $5 at 5 and below. Um, and then here are the Ever After High dolls I got. Raven Queen getting Ferris. Which she comes with her mirror, but she didn't come with her shelf. Michelle Mermaid. I got her new at Tuesday morning, and her card is somewhere else, but I couldn't wait to open her. Then I got secondhand Cedar Wood. Uh, why am I blinking? Okay, right, that's right. Spring Unsprung. And she's very good for secondhand. I mean, she even still has her ring. Blondie Locks Birthday Ball. Her thing is also somewhere else, her little purse. And then Jillian Beanstalk. I got her new at Tuesday morning. And her card is with Michelle Mermaids. So, this is Monster High. i move this. The Monster High and Ever After High dolls that I got for this haul. So the next thing I'm going to show you is Project MC Squared. I have four dolls to show you. I have two on my doll shelf. They're buried, so I'm not going to dig them out right now. I got these two secondhand. Uh, they are Cameron Coyle and Bride and Bandwidth. I don't know which set or experiment they're from. I still have to look that up. And, of course, the stands featured right now don't come with them. I'm just using them to prop them up for you guys. So here are those two gals. Um, they're in very good condition. And then I have two from the Masquerade, Masquerade line. Ember Evergreen with her Fairy Wings experiment, which I have yet to try, but looks cool. And Adrian Adams Lemon Soap experiment which I also really want to try because I'm always in need of more soap at my house for some reason. Ember's mask is in my like nightstand drawer somewhere and I just didn't dig it out um, but she does come with one. She comes with the purple one. So there's Project MC Squared for you. So the next and last part of this haul is going to be Barbie based because if you guys didn't already know I am a Barbie collector and I value my Barbie collection as much as any of my other collections that I have and so first I'm going to show you these two gals and then I'm going to show you the fashion packs. So here are the two gals that I have gotten. This one is Sensational Barbie and I guess you could call her vintage. I got her second hand too. Um, she's really gorgeous. As soon as I saw her, I had to have her. Um, this one I got from Walmart. It is Fashionista 97. I believe she's called Meow Mix, but most people just call her the Kitty Fashionista. And since I have a cat, I absolutely adored her and decided that I had to have her. And so here she is. Uh, these stands do not go with them, as you can see, because that is obviously not anything Elvis related. The one that's on that stand. Uh, so the fashion packs I have to show you. This one is the newest fashion pack. I got it from Target and I absolutely adore it. Now this fashion pack I also got from Target, but I needed the necklace out of it for a project, so that's why it isn't there. This one is a Ken fashion pack and it's from Northstone Rack and the same situation with the shoes. And this one is actually from Toys R Us before it was closing. 
and I absolutely love this swimsuit. I wish they made it in a uh, human size because I would totally buy it. So cute. And then the last fashion pack is from Walmart and it's a super pretty pink rose dress. And yeah, so these are my Barbie items. Um, I just want to let you guys know that there is a Winx collection haul. Not a collection haul, but like a haul of new things to add to my collection coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Bye!